how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich from Rich TV Live, with our very special guest, the CEO of Valio Pharma, Steve Saviak, with some huge news today, some huge breaking news today. How are you doing today, Steve? Very good, Rich. Nice to be back on your show. Love having you on the show. And I want to talk about the big breaking news. You've announced this morning that the Montreal Heart Institute will be conducting a trial on COVID-19 with your Hesperco capsules. Can you tell us what the medicinal medical ingredient Hesperidine contained in the capsule does exactly and where it comes from? Okay, well, uh, Hesperidine is uh, derived from the crust of citrus fruit. It's processed into a specific formulation of pure Hesperidine. Uh, it has uh, over 20 years shown some very interesting properties uh, in terms of viral uh, defense, uh, and the specific on coronaviruses, which are around us and have been for the last 20 years, various variants. Uh, it does three things or is thought to do three things. One is reduce infection. Second is to reduce uh, replication. And third is to support your immune system uh, against the inflammatory response that comes from your body. So it has really three modes of action. Um, and uh, it's, again, shown in over 150 scientific journals, a lot of research done on asparagine over the last 20 years since the original outbreak of uh, serious car, uh, SARS-CoV-1 back in 2002. Fantastic. And how did you get the Montreal Heart Institute to be interested in conducting a clinical trial on hesperidine? We partnered up, we, Valio Pharma, last March with a company that we've known for quite some time called Ingenue Pharma. And Ingenue Pharma is a small biotech company in Montreal. They did a lot of the initial groundwork on finding uh, hesperidine and looking at all the scientific literature. They put together quite a, a um, I guess, an in-depth scientific uh, proposal that the Montreal Heart Institute uh, reviewed and accepted as being very interesting and, and warranting further research. Um, Valio as part of the, of the uh, equation was putting together the formulations, manufacturing the product, helping with the Health Canada submission, and ultimately commercializing the product uh, as we're doing now. The scientists at your development partner, Agnew Pharma, which you just mentioned, have done extensive and exhaustive scientific research. And it seems like hesperidine has all these great anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties with a great safety profile. It almost looks too good to be true. Why haven't we seen other pharma companies interested in pursuing a trial on hesperidine? Well, as the CEO of uh, Ingenue Pharma is fond to say, uh, you couldn't manufacture a, pr a product that had these properties. You stumble upon one. And it's really a, a sort of just a uh, uh, done it, haphazardly in the sense that there was a lot of screening of molecules when the original SARS uh, outbreak happened in early uh, 2002. Uh, this was one product that just uh, drew attention because of its properties. Why doesn't Big Pharma go after this? Um, I, I would say it's a natural product. It has uh, probably lower pricing potential than big pharma would typically want to see. Um, and those are the, the main reasons. This is a very inexpensive product, dollar a day, we call it. And uh, two, two capsules uh, provide you with a thousand milligrams, which is a Health Canada's recommended daily dose. I think that's great. A dollar a day to maintain your health is a great preventative solution and option for Canadians and Americans and potentially investors and potentially patients all over the world for your company. Now, why should people be interested in taking or continuing to take Hesperco with the vaccines getting rolled out to more and more people? Well, there's a number of, uh, of reasons. Number uh, one is certainly prior to, I mean, this is not a product that we recommend you take only if you feel ill, although a lot of people will. Um, as you would typically take other, uh, you know, ingredients when you feel symptoms of some uh, cold or what have you, um, you could take this prior. It, we believe it has enough other properties to, that are beneficial to the body, in addition to potentially preventing the, the the viral load or the amount of virus from entering your body. It has that property. Uh, the second is. Uh, you know, the vaccines are, are absolutely the way people should go. I mean, they clearly, but not everyone's going to be taking a vaccine. And even if you take the vaccines, there is this, this element of 
you know, eff efficacy, which is seen to be in the 90 plus percent range. So there still is a chance that you will get, um, you could get infected by the uh, back, the uh, virus. And the second is the vaccine is not a, a for life kind of vaccine. It, it has to be taken on a regular basis. That's the expectation of people that the vaccine will. So I, I, I would say primarily people should take the vaccine while you're waiting for the vaccine, take a spare call. Uh, but also, I think take a, uh, take a spare go against other viruses that could be potentially infectious to the body. So it's really uh, something that is has a lot of different properties uh, that are beneficial to the body. And, and patients, regardless of being vaccinated or not, should continue, uh, in our view, to, uh, to, and I certainly expect to do that as well as a lot of our colleagues, um, continue to take uh, a spare call. So what we're noticing now, and we're seeing it in other places all over the world, is that there's different variants of the virus. So will hesperidine work on those variants as well? The, the, uh, it's early to tell right now, but uh, what we believe and what Ingenu believes more specifically than the, uh, they're doing a lot of the work on it is the the virus needs to enter your body and regardless of the variance, the, 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 it enters your body through the same mechanism. So the expectation and through the same portal, which is your ACE2 uh, receptors, which are commonly in your lung. So as long as there is a prevention uh, aspect, which is what asperidine, one of the properties asperidine is thought to have, uh, it would, you know, the theory is again, it's theory because these virus vir uh, variants are so new is that they're, they're it, it, but they act, we know they act in the same way that we should have the same kind of uh, beneficial effect to, to patients. Wow. That would be incredible because from what I'm hearing, a lot of the vaccines are not working with some of these new variants. So if Harris, if, if your product does, then that will be a huge breakthrough for the company. So that'll be exciting to see how that rolls out. Now, you mentioned that Hesperco will be available in retailers. When will it go on sale and which retailers can we expect to see it in? It, well, currently it is on sale. It is for sale online through our own website, hysterical.com, but also through amazon.ca and Amazon oh, wow. has seen quite a bit of it since we launched uh, late November. Um, in terms of the traditional bricks and mortar retailers, you could expect to see Rexall, Shoppers, Drug Marts, uh, these type of retailers having availability of this product in the coming weeks. We've been in discussion with all of them. Marketing plans are being put together and, and programs to, in terms of being making the product uh, visible to consumers are all in the works. Uh, so I, I can't give you definitive date, but I would continue to, to, uh, to tell your, uh, you know, if you want to own the product or buy it, buy it today online, but by all means, go to your, your local pharmacy and ask for it. And, uh, or at least put yourself on a list that as soon as they get it, You'll be made aware, and they can they can, you can uh, pick it up at uh, at these pharmacies. We will be going into the U.S. also probably early March. Initially, again through Amazon, U.S. retail market is much more fragmented than the Canadian market. Um, a lot of different banners, a lot of different stores out there. So it it the rollout is we're discussing that with a potential U.S. partner in terms of how that's going to happen. But uh, we've actually manufactured U.S. label products, so that's. The expectation is we'll be launching the U.S. shortly. That's going to be huge for Valio Pharma. I'm excited to see what happens with you guys when that happens. Typically, when we see companies move into the U.S., it's just an explosion of revenue, an explosion of growth, and typically price appreciation as well. So that'll be exciting to see. Now, how long, and I know you mentioned, you can't really mention exactly, but just to give us an estimate, how long will the study last? And when can we expect to see some results? The study is a, has a total uh, number of patients uh, forecasted of about 216. It's got two arms. So one is known as the placebo arm. So they're taking essentially a sugar capsule versus a asperidine capsule. So the, the uh, research can identify the benefits of asperidine over the placebo. So typical uh, clinical uh, practice. Um, there's a lot of cases, as you know, in Quebec, and therefore a lot of patients potentially to recruit from. Our expectation is uh, probably 90 to 120 days, the trial should be complete, at which point there'd be some type of information. It could go longer than that. Uh, it's very unique. It's a, um, it's a uh, at distance trial. So in other words, patients don't go to the Montreal Heart Institute. 
they enroll and all of the documentation and product is actually shipped to them at their uh, home or, or office, but for not probably more so home. Um, so this is a, kind of a new way of, of doing some clinical trials where it's harder to get people to actually, you know, come into a facility. So we're trying to do it at distance. Um, looking forward to the results. Uh, I think it's, um, I think a lot of people are. I'm excited about seeing what the results are going to look like. And I know our community is now our community has been following value pharma for quite some time now, and it's been a success story so far. And we love revenue and revenue growth. We love tight float stocks. We love growing companies and you guys literally fit the bill. Now, can you provide us with a revenue forecast from the sales of Hesperco and what it could represent to the bottom line of value pharma? Um, okay, we'll, we'll, I'll just give you a bit of background. So we finished our last fiscal year ending October with approximately 8 million of revenue that we're forecasting that to grow to about 20 to 25 million this year. Wow. Um, that's from our existing products uh, that are continuing to grow and two, uh, two big revenue drivers that we foresee, which is Hesperico being one. The other is Redesca, our low molecular weight heparin that we're launching uh, late spring, early summer. Uh, which we think will have a top line uh, uh, sort of peak sales of in the 30 plus million range for wow. Redesca. Hesperco is very uh, difficult to forecast. I mean, our forecasts are relatively low, uh, six to 10 million. Uh, they could be, that number could be multiplied by many, but I, we're trying to be as conservative as we can in terms of our, our investors. We think that tw if we do 20 to 25 this year with another probably 20, a million addition year after uh, we're well on, you know, we believe we're well on our way to being a 60, $80 million revenue company in the next three, four years, potentially sooner. Uh, uh, and a lot of it is on the back, as I say, of Redesca, Esperico, but we have a number of other products. Uh, our Parkinson's drug that we launched a year and a half ago is starting to, to do well. And, uh, and some of our other uh, injectables uh, that we've launched uh, during the course of last year. So, uh, people can expect to see that $20, $25 million range um, and profitability by the end of this fiscal year. Wow. Really excited to see everything unfold. And guys, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we discuss or talk about here in Rich TV Live. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. And feel free to contact Steve yourself get in contact with the company. If you have any questions, if you're an investor and you'd like to learn more, Steve is very willing to communicate with shareholders. And thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. I think this is a company that's undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. When you look at big pharma companies, you see these huge billion dollar giants. This is a company that I think has a chance to one day grow to become a big pharma company, but you're getting an opportunity to literally get in in the early stages while there's still a micro cap stock. So in my opinion, huge upside for value of pharma and we get an opportunity to position ourselves and grow with the company. Thank you so much for your time today, Steve. Congratulations on all your success thus far and we'll be watching along the way. Yeah, look forward to being back with uh, updates and more news. Yeah. And like I said, if you ever have any big breaking news like this uh, that you'd like to introduce to our community, love to invite you back on our show at your convenience. Keep up all the great work and thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a great day.